Okay, everybody, so I hope the title of this video is up. It's about playfulness. It's about being natural. <laughs> okay, oh, wait a minute, actually. <laughs> okay, so let's start. <laughs> this video is about that spiritual people who I know in my life and me, everyone I see in the world, they're not very happy. They're just so serious. They're bogged down with the complications and the heaviness of life. The stress. I understand everything. Hi, Carly. So, like, life is stressful. Life is serious. Loads of spiritual people, like, say, love and, oh, love and light, love and light. But they're not light at all. They don't know anything about lightness. <laughs> Jesus was right. <laughs> Become ye diddly diddly dooters, more like children, and that's how you're going to enter the kingdom of God. So you'll enter the kingdom of God when you become more like children. This is this reminds me of like when people in the past would ask me, Oh, and what's your practice? Like what do you do? Like what's your secret? Like, how do you be peaceful in life a fair bit? And I'm like, Well, one, don't think I'm always peaceful and joyful because I'm not. Sometimes I'm tired and I don't play when I'm tired. I do when I'm energetic. <laughs> I'm very good, Veronica, thank you very much. So for me, I want to say balance seriousness with lightness, play and fun. Like life is already serious enough. So go out there and goof around like a goofball. Like look at the children and the animals. Like my practice is to be like an animal like or a child, like a cat. Like I don't have any like schedule or like I, I, I do yoga at this time. I meditate for this time for how long? Like no animals or children have all these schedules. We are extremely mental. We're not natural at all. Like I'm not trying to say don't to do don't do that because if you're really busy and you have a, if you're busy, you might only have an hour to spare and you might want to do some yoga then and fit it into your day. But if you have the opportunity at the weekend or more in your life. You might want to like goof around and have a lot of laughter. Like I shared a Facebook picture lately, okay? Someone saying, laugh as much as you breathe. Like be as happy as you can. Laugh as much as you breathe. And that's what stuck out for me in my mind. Like laugh as much as you breathe. Who laughs a lot? I just finished a two week period of my life like laughing my head off every day and having so much love. I swear to God. <laughs> So much non-sexual physical intimacy and love and laughter with my friend. So much like goofing around the place and, and having like tons of fun and playfulness. It was the best time ever almost. Like because of all the serious work I've done, I now have a, a heart, a big heart that's like ready and able to love more than I've ever been able to, to give and to feel. Combine that with my freedom and lightness of and fearlessness and comfortableness in my own self and self-acceptance and self-love. I'm able to share the love I have on the inside with physical, non-sexual intimacy as an expression of the love coupled with fun and playfulness and goofing around as well. So like, I'd even spank my friend the bum if he was bending over at the gas station. I'd like, you know, like I'd give him hugs, kisses, hold hands once for a few seconds. Uh, just linking up or like, you know, goofing around, like, ha ha ha, a lot of laughter and playfulness. So, uh, lightness, like so many people are stuck up about like bloody nudity as well. We also shame our bodies. Like why are women, I just don't get why women are shaving all the time. Like it's just a social conditioning and brainwashing. Why, why bother? No animal shaves, like no female animal in nature shaves. Like why on earth are we waxing and shaving? We're always spending stuff we don't need, wasting our money to fit into something that we think men want us to shave. I don't want women to shave. The women that I want in my life, like, I don't care too badly, you know. I'd really prefer if they didn't shave, though, to be honest. <laughs> I'm alive, so sorry everyone, I can't be uh, knocking off my internet so I don't get messages. So everyone, I just fucking relax. This is my message in this video. Relax the fuck up. Relax the shit off of yourself. Stop being so tight and strung up and so, like, joke. Smile for nothing.
<laughs> you see, it turns into a real laughter then. Just have more f fun and lightness in your life. Like I've never felt, personally, I've never felt as like free and happy and peaceful and loving and joyful and playful and goofy and self-accepting and comfortable in my life. Ah <laughs> oh, man, so so good to feel good. Like, and you need to look after your physical body to get enough sleep to feel good and to eat. Like the last, this is my fifth day fruitarian as far as I'm aware. One little small bit of Indian food, which brought me down. So I quit that and I'm back to fruitarian. So even go to raw foods, everyone. Stop messing around fucking too much. If you don't eat cooked food, don't have too much of it. Have like, try to do at least 80 to 95% raw food. Even one cooked meal a day brings you down a lot, in my experience and loads of other people's experience. So, um, so that's all I want to say in this video, everyone. Balance the serious inner work and spirituality of life with lightness. So don't just say love and light. Do the work so you feel the love. Do the work and let go so you have more playfulness and fun. Like look at dogs, look at cats, look at look at geese, look at um, look at all the like beavers uh, look at mongooses they run around after children play they wrestle they play they hug they kiss even non-sexually they run after balls they jump in packs of piles of leaves they run up like they run up trees like they chase bees and butterflies who which humans do you know interacting with their their now moment with their surroundings like like an animal or a child like copy the children and the animals get them back to get back to normality Get comfortable with being nude and naked. Get comfortable with your own sexuality. Get comfortable with accepting your diet as being unnatural. And that's probably why everyone's sick in the world. No animal in nature has any human disease unless they eat our shitty human food that we've cooked and processed. They're vigorous and healthy and fit. So get fit. Eat raw foods and fruits, okay? There are food, especially just simple fruits and, and optional green leafy vegetables. They're, that's the optimal for us, okay? Don't process or adulterate or dehydrate or spice up your food. Like no animal does that. Eat food that grows. When you connect to all these natural processes that I'm saying and your natural heart that you have, you're going to have fun. You're going to be happy, everyone. You're going to be, you're going to be less stressed because you relieve your stress with the playfulness and the fun. That's what I'm trying to say in this video. Balance your life, everyone, please. Otherwise, I'll, I'll beat the shit out of you. So it's good, like I just like being stupid and ridiculous and extreme sometimes, like in silly jokes. Because like everyone, life is stressful, it's difficult, it's challenging, I give, I give it that, you know. But we make it a hundred times worse by um, by a lack of spiritual inner healing and work. We make it a hundred times worse by not having fun and playing like children and animals. And eating toxic food that makes us tired and sick and depressed. So just that's all I'm saying in this video. Like it's just a simple little message. Like it's almost like common sense to it's common sense to like more advanced and natural aligned species. Um so the last thing I want to say is like I don't have any rules for myself. So for example, have you ever heard of spiritual serious rules? Eat quietness, sit down and Meditate over your food for five minutes and then eat in gratitude. Yeah, I agree with eating in gratitude, but I'm more like the child than the animal. Like today, I ate my mango, a mango over the sink because it was dripping. Like, why on earth do I have to be told to sit down and eat my fucking mango? Like, like somebody tells me to. That's stupid, in my opinion. I'm more like a, a, a I'm like a hyena. I'm like, I'm like a jackal. I'm like a fox. And I think that's maybe why I came into this world my second name was Fox. Because I am like an animal. I'm a natural person. I'm a simplest, simplistic person. I'm an innocent, authentic, natural person. Like an animal or a child. I've let go of all these like ridiculous roles and labels and facades. And like, you know, I'm better than you. Statuses. When I talk to you, I'm just talking to you like the spirit that you are. A soul. A person. Like a human being. A living life form. I want to treat you like I do, like a ladybird, 
Like, how many people have you ever heard say that in your life? Like, I want to treat you gently and lovingly like an ant. I don't kill ants. I don't, like, I don't, I don't bash insects out of my way. I try my best anyway, unless, like, a mosquito keeping me up all night. Otherwise, I don't kill anything. And I not only don't kill it, I try and, like, treat it very reverently. And that's the same as I do with humans. Like, if I meet the Dalai Lama, or if I meet a homeless person, or if I meet a child, like, if I work with a client, I just treat them basically, everybody, like my friend and my family member. How simple is that? How natural is that? Because beyond all of the, the mental concepts, we are just energy beings. We're just energy. So why would you have to treat someone else differently? We're all just energy. So treat everyone like energy. And that's that's everybody and everything is energy. So treat everything and everyone with love and respect equally. And gentleness, everybody. Physical gentleness, even the insects. Hi, Melissa. <laughs> so... So I don't have, I'm like hyenas and tigers and jackals and foxes and beavers and hedgehogs and badgers. They don't, they don't have to be all like have a big event over eating. I ate my mangoes in sink over the sink today and I was standing. It just, it's good for me. I felt fantastic. It's my hundred percent real food and it doesn't have to be a huge event. Like humans make eating food like an orchestra. It's like so much food is addictive. We have to make, we crave it. We we get a rush and a high and excited about food. No other animal is like that. When we eat natural food like just fruits that grow on a tree or a bush, we, we feel the best we can feel. And it isn't a big event. It's just a simple, ordinary little thing. And animals don't eat for an hour. They eat for a few minutes. Humans are so crazy and naturally addicted. Food is the most addictive drug on the planet, everyone. I don't know if you know that. <laughs> um, we are fruit eaters. We are raw foodists, everybody. Just like every single insect and every single animal. And when you eat the rubbish, you get sick. So if you have any health problems, that's because you're eating the wrong food, most likely. So start eating living raw food and fruitarian more. Learn about it and practice that. But, um... But don't get serious about it, everyone. I'm telling you, I'm warning you, don't get serious. Because you start getting serious with everything, anything I'm talking about, you're missing the point. <laughs> Have fun, okay, everyone? I want you to laugh 15 times more than you usually smile and laugh today, okay? <laughs> Hi, Nene. <laughs> for sure, for sure. Hi, Angel. <laughs> Thanks for joining me. Nice to see you. All joining me. Sweet, lovely. <laughs> is everyone's a woman? This is fucking crazy. It's like, I, I attract female energy. Uh, yeah, but I usually get a lot of men in my live videos as well, actually. So if there's any man, leave me a comment. <laughs> so anyway, I'm going to leave this video now because I've said what I wanted to say. Uh, just lighten up. That's the message. Lighten up and be more simple and natural. Don't have a big self-concept of yourself. Just be simple. And don't be afraid to appear stupid or foolish or ridiculous or crazy or an asshole or... Well, you don't really want to be an asshole, but don't be afraid to appear a certain way if you're setting boundaries or... Anyway. All right, everyone, so... Does anyone have a little question? Just like a quick last final thing about this topic? You probably don't really, because this isn't really a serious topic or questions, right? Okay, I'll see you all another time. Mason. Cassandra says light bulb. <laughs> Diana says I actually started a 30 day fruit feast today. Yeah, Orvel Douglas. Everyone join Orvel Douglas, my friend on Facebook. He's doing a 30 day fruit challenge. You're going to get like hundreds of other people to learn from and to share experiences from and testimonials and people will inspire you and support you. Mrs. May May says because you are so connected with your female energy. <laughs> because you are so connected to your female energy. Feminine energy. <laughs> so from, 
If you want to be spiritual, stop being serious and start having fun and lightening up and playing and having fun and joking, okay? I'll see you all soon. If you have any live video topics you want me to do another time, let me know on Facebook, okay, or a private message. And don't forget to share this video if you think you want it. <laughs> Did you like the accents, me? <laughs> okay, see everyone. Lots of love and thanks for joining me. Thanks, Angel, for your love. Love you too. Angel, and yeah, I love all of your like, comments on my Facebook, by the way. It's like really nice and lovely and sweet and makes me feel happy, everybody. Makes me feel happy. Thanks. <laughs> See you all. Bye. Love you. Have a nice day. <laughs>